Hey everyone, welcome to Click Fix Tech. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can play PSP games right on your Android phone. If you follow along with this video, you'll be able to enjoy any PSP games in smooth 60 FPS and HD resolution. So, let's get started. First, open up the Google Play Store and search for PPSSBB. You'll see two versions of the app, one with a blue icon, which is completely free, and another called PPSSBP Gold, which is a paid version. For this tutorial, we're going with the blue free version because it does everything we need. Tap, install, and let it download. It's a small app, so it should only take a few seconds. Once installed, open the app and move on to the next step. When you first open PPSSBP, it will ask you to select a folder to store your game data. Simply click OK and you'll be taken to your internal storage. Now, create a new folder and name it something like PPSSBP Games or anything you prefer. Once you've created the folder, tap Use This Folder and Allow Access. After that, you'll see the main screen of the PPSSBP emulator. Since this is your first time using it, the game list will be empty, but we're about to change that. Now let's add some games. To do this, you'll need PSP game files. Make sure you legally own any game. Move the game files into the folder you just created. Then, in the PPSSBP app, tap the Games tab at the top, then hit Browse and navigate to that folder. Once you're inside, tap on the Use This Folder and Allow, and you'll see your game files appear on the screen, ready to launch. Before launching a game, let's quickly go over the settings for the best performance. Tap on the Settings tab, and on Graphics tab, change the backend to Vulkan if you're using a low-end phone. If you have a more powerful device, you can also try OpenGL for better graphics quality. Set the rendering resolution to 2x or 4x PSP based on your device. For the display resolution, select Native Device Resolution, and turn off VSync if you want smoother gameplay. And if the game lags, try enabling frame skipping and set it to 1. Next, there's another important setting called Buffer Graphics Commands. Set this to up to 1 or no buffer, depending on your device's performance. Now scroll down to the Texture Filtering option. Open it and select Linear. This helps improve the visual quality of your games. If you experience any glitches or visual bugs, try enabling the Low Resolution for Effects option to fix them. And if you want to monitor performance in real time, you can turn on the Show FPS counter. This will display the frame rate while you're playing. On the Controls tab, you can customize your gameplay experience by tapping on Edit Touch Control Layout. This allows you to reposition any button on the screen based on your personal preference. If you're using a Bluetooth controller, make sure to first disable the on-screen touch controls to avoid interference. There are many other settings available, but most of them are not necessary. Now let's test everything out. Go back to the Games tab, tap on any title, for example, Tekken 6, and the game should launch instantly. You might notice that the game isn't in full screen. To fix that, simply tap on a menu button, then go to Display Layout and Effects. Now, check the first box that says Stretch. This will make the game display in full screen on your device. As you can see, the game now runs smoothly, even in HD settings, and you can save your progress anytime using save states. I've personally tested games like FIFA 14, Spider-Man 3, GTA Vice City Stories, God of War, and Tekken 6, and they all perform great on the PPSSBP emulator. And that's it. You've now turned your Android phone into a full-on PSP gaming device. Whether you're into action, racing, or classic fighting games, PPSSBP makes it easy to enjoy all your favorite PSP titles anywhere you go. If this tutorial helped you out, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to ClickFix Tech. Also, let me know in the comments which PSP game you're excited to play first. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.